shall reflect on the life of St. Marie Bernard Sobirius. St. Marie Bernard Sobirius, popularly known as simply Bernadette, was born on the 7th of January 1844 at Neves in Lutz. Her father had been a miller, but straitened circumstances necessitated his earning bread for his family as a day labourer. Small and delicate as a child, Bernadette was a martyr to asthma all her life. While still very young, she was placed as a nurse in a neighbouring village. When older, she had charge of a flock of sheep. By the time she returned to her father's house at the age of 14, sickness and lack of schooling had already delayed her first communion. On Thursday, the 11th of February 1858, Bernadette, together with her sister Marie and a friend named Jean, went out to look for firewood for the family hearth. There, in the grotto of Masabiel, along the river Gave, she beheld a vision, a lady of unspeakable beauty. It was Our Lady. Mary appeared to Bernadette on 17 other occasions and conversed with her. On the 3rd of June, Bernadette made her first Holy Communion, and in spite of the ridicule of the incredulous and sarcasm of the skeptics and the barbed wire fences put around the grotto by the mayor of Lourdes in order to prevent Bernadette from entering the place, she saw the lady from a distance and at the same place. Bernadette endured much opposition from her family, the civil authorities and even the clergy, all of whom refused to believe her narration. The Bishop of Tarbes appointed a commission of ecclesiastical and medical men to inquire into the reality and nature of the apparitions and miracles that had occurred at Lourdes. Their labours lasted nearly three years. Before the reports of the commission were even approved by the bishop, the fame of Lourdes had spread worldwide, the place of pilgrimage firmly established. In July 1866, Bernadette left for Neves to commence her novitiate at the mother house of the sister of Neves. There, she remained until her death, strictly observing the rules. Every day, she said, she would go in spirit to the dear grotto and make her pilgrimage there. She suffered a great deal both in body and in spirit during her years in the convent. On the 22nd of September 1878, she made her perpetual vows. In December that year, she had to appear before the representatives of the Bishop of Tarpes and Neves and renewed the depositions she had made 20 years before regarding the apparitions at the grotto. Asthma and consequences of malnutrition and poverty in her childhood and early youth took their toll, paving the way for tuberculosis and tubercular ulcer on a knee with nephritis, which slowly sapped her life. On the 16th of April 1879, with a smile on her face, she passed away to meet her lady in white. Bernadette Sobrius was beatified by Pope Benedict XV in 1925 and canonized by Pius XI on the 8th of December 1933.